Hi, my name is Tristan Che, and I'm a student at the School of Science and Technology, Singapore. I am a teacher in my school's Coding Talent Development Program, where I help teach my junior Swift. The Swift Student Challenge app that I made is called Study Log. The main inspiration behind Study Log is the issue of ineffective studying and frequent distractions that I personally experience while trying to study. When you first open the app, the, there's a welcome page. This is where you learn about the features that the app provides. So over here you can see that there's a dashboard, countdown, countdown timers, a homeworks list, uh, some, some simple design, built-in notes, uh, notes editing, and some tips. Afterwards, you click the button to continue the study log. On the left is the sidebar. This is how you navigate around the app. And over here, to add a subject, you can click on the plus button. And let's say I'm going to add the subject computing. And I'm going to give it a color of yellow and add subject. To start logging the amount of time you've studied for a subject, you can click on the subject's title. Then this view will show up. Over here, you have a countout timer that will count the, the amount of time that you have studied for a subject. You have your date, time, and the subject that you're looking for. And once you're done, you can click on the Done button. Next is the Homework section. This is where students can keep track of their assignments and any overdue or pending things that they have to do. To add an assignment, you can click on the button in the bottom right-hand corner and give it a title, and maybe a description as well. So let's say, physics worksheet and don't finish don't finish question two maybe if a teacher wants to go through it in class so over here I can add a subject in here as well physics since this is a physics worksheet and give it purple as the color and then I will add the subject and I can click on physics and add new homework. So over here, for overdue assignments, you can see that there's an overdue badge over here. And if I properly set the deadline to, let's say, 10 p.m. later on, click Save Changes, the overdue badge is gone. The assignments list is also sorted by due date, so those that are due earlier will be on top. If I go back to my dashboard page and swipe over here, this is where you have your homework statistics. Here, you can view the total amount of assignments, your current assignments, and your overdue assignments in a pie chart. If you swipe over again, you can start a countdown timer. This is for things like time practice papers. So let's say I want to start a 1 hour 30 minute paper. I click start. And here, you have your time, date, and the amount of time you have left. And once you're done, you can click on the Done button. Next is the notes area. This is where students can keep track of their notes for all of their subjects. So to add a note, click on the Add New Note button and give it a title. So let's say I'll go with Physics Notes. And you can click on Physics over here and add the new note. Opening up your note, you can enter the details of your note over here. So let's say moment equals to force times perpendicular distance. And when you go back, it automatically saves and gives you a nice little preview over here. Notes are also color-coded, so it matches the color of your subject. Lastly, is the tips area. Here, students can learn some uh, tips for things like time management, stress management, and organizational tips to help them in their studying. With that, that concludes my app. Thank you.